my name is Sandy and welcome to my channel. January is now over. I'm so happy. It actually felt like it was never going to end. Welcome to the month of February, the month of love. In the spirit of love, tonight the restaurant that we'll be visiting is a French restaurant. And when I say we, me and the girls, we'll be going to eat is called Brasserie Blanc. I am not sure if I've pronounced it properly, but that is the feathers my French accent can go. Brasserie Blanc. Blanc. By the way, if you've not yet seen my videos, basically what I'm doing this year is to just try out a restaurant once a month and give like a little review of the service, the food, the price and the atmosphere. And the reason why I picked this restaurant is because it's by the riverside. So it's supposed to be romantic and lovely and I just want that atmosphere. I'm really excited for it because um, I just want to try some French cuisine since majority of us will associate love with um, the capital of France, Paris. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to suggest some romantic restaurants just in case any one of you have in mind to take your significant half out for Valentine's Day. It makes sense, right? So, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. We're walking towards the way, Okay, so we're good. We're not lost. But we're going the right way. way. It is cold though. It is freezing. Freezing. Trying to, we're a little bit late. We, no. I am late. Yeah. So is Lydia. Oh yes. And we are here. your intake on that I'm used to it. <laughs> she they, they, they're used to it like I, I felt I thought I've gone past this stage of life where I don't get ID but clearly I do get ID but I'll take that as a compliment that's what I do now let's have a look at these menus Hi 
Hi guys, welcome back. I'm so excited to tell you guys all about Brassie Blanc and I still don't think I'm pronouncing it properly. At least I don't think I'm pronouncing it the way the French people will pronounce it, but hey, you know. Um, first of all, the place is not far from um, Hilton Hotel, so it's on Sovereign Street near um, Bridgewater Place so if you're familiar with Leeds it's not far at all and is it's such an awkward place for it to be actually because it's nearby KPMG I think um, it's just near offices and I couldn't find a parking space so I don't know whether there's actually a parking space there but I had to go park elsewhere and walk there it's near the river the canal and so we got there, well I was late because I was struggling to find a place to park and thank goodness Jackie was there on time so um, that was good. That place is so beautiful, oh my gosh, like I really like it, it's, it got such a nice atmosphere and when we got there and uh, um, we we quickly got a table because it wasn't busy. The place was so lit, like there was candles everywhere. And I don't actually know whether it's their normal setting or because Valentine's Day is around the corner and that's how they've sort of made it up a little bit. But the place was just so romantic. It has it like candles everywhere, like real candles everywhere and they've got bottles and they have candles on top of the bottles and it's just such a cute place to go on a first date or anniversary or even a, a valentine's day date i would recommend you to go because it's, it's a good way to impress someone if you're really trying to impress someone um so we got a, a table and we got given the la, la carte menu book and they also had a Sunday um, rose um, menu book so we decided to order a bit of everything or the starters we decided to pick different things and then have it like try it all so I ordered unsalted bread and Lydia ordered potted smoked mackerel and Jackie ordered potted shrimp the shrimps was lovely, it was beautiful and it's just, it tasted so nice. The mackerel on the other hand, it had such a fishy smell to it. It tasted alright. I had a bite and I had to stop myself because it just, the smell just goes straight up in your nose and you just don't know what to do with it. So I didn't eat that. I tried it, I didn't like it. But the shrimps, the, the shrimps was very, 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 very nice. And I liked it very much. And for the main cause, I had beef bourguignon. And I don't think I've pronounced it properly. Um, but that's what I had. And it was amazing. It was the first time I've had this dish. Um, it came with smooth mash. And it was it's just melted. Mm. I could eat this food every day if you if I had if there was one food that I could survive on for the rest of my life that would be it because it it was so beautiful it was it was nicely done and I really really enjoyed it Jackie and Lydia both had the Sunday roast and it was massive. It came in a big portion and um, it's not like your normal Sunday roast when you go to like Toby's or like a pub for a Sunday roast where they, re they really tie on the meat. Like it was bigger portion, they liked the pork and everything. They said that it lacked season so they had to put more salt on it but in terms of portion size it was worth the price I think each of it was £15.50 um, for the, the Sunday rose and my 
was 16 pounds 65 um ar around that price range and my food was worth the price i i it deserved that price honest i really liked it and it was just nicely done i think they would have paid a little bit less maybe 10 pounds for the ascendant rose because it lacked season for the starters my was only like two pounds because it was just basic bread um but for the potted shrimp and smoked mackerel um i think that one was six pounds something six pound ninety and the the shrimps were um, eight pounds something like maybe eight pound fifty or something like that they didn't think it was worth that price maybe they would have paid a little bit less as well um maybe five pounds the only one that ordered dessert and my dessert was so nice i mean if you already watch my first video you will know that i i said before i am not a dessert person i don't particularly have a favorite dessert because i don't do well with sweet stuff but this one i had it was chocolate and almond tart with vanilla ice cream and oh my goodness it was so lovely it was and then um and the price was reasonable actually i think i think it was it was five pounds ninety and it was just so nice i could i could also eat that for the rest of my life if i had to pick one dessert to have forever and ever and ever so in all i've really really enjoyed um, this restaurant I would definitely give it like if I was to rate it on a star basis I would give it like out of five I'll give it 4.5 and the reason why I'll give it 4.5 is not because of lack of flavor for mine it's just for the girls they didn't feel like it had it was flavorsome for the Sunday roast um, and the service was great. I think because there was less people there, it wasn't busy, so they were very quick. The rater that we had was really cool and really chatty, and I, I really liked that because it makes you feel like they're not just there doing their job, but they kind of like are a little interested in like what you want to eat. And because he recommended that for me, and um, I'm so glad I asked him what he would recommend and he recommended that and it was really nice. I would definitely, definitely go there again and um, obviously as I always say it wouldn't be the next video but in my spare time in summer I would most definitely be going there in the summer because it would just be so beautiful um, to sit outside and have, a, and have a dinner but you know I have thoroughly enjoyed this this restaurant like this this is like i've only been to two this is my second one but now like i could say it's my favorite out of the um the black house which i went um last month the black house was amazing as well but this will be my i'll pick this one over the black house i'm excited for the next month um what the next month has in store for us and i'm really looking forward in trying something different i think i want to do something really different for next month so if you've liked this video and you want to see more of this video don't forget to like subscribe and share and leave comments you know like i really would like to hear from you guys you know a restaurant that you think i should you know go and try or um, a place that you've been before and you would like me to go and have an opinion about that so it would be really good to, to see a comment from you guys so um, until then have a lovely uh, month enjoy the Valentine's Day and I will see you in my next video